All right, today I have quite a bit to cover on the Cosmic Rust desktop. I have it built from source here, and I wanna talk about some exciting developments onwards to the Cosmic Alpha release. I finally got to update my source build, and the first thing I wanna do is launch a terminal so I can check out something, and that's the Cosmic Store, which has been redone in Rust for the new Cosmic desktop that's built on Rust, and now I get to use it a little bit, show you around so we know what to kind of expect. One thing that they, I really like that they've also updated is now you can snap to the various different sides of the screen. For those of you Windows users, this is a nice thing to have because it makes it really easy to put your windows anywhere on the screen and snap them quickly and efficiently, utilizing the most out of your screen real estate. Fantastic work there. This is my first time interacting with the Cosmic Store here, the brand new one built on Rust. And what we see here on the left-hand side is a menu that you can collapse if you want, or if you want to search for apps, you can do that as well. It shows you, as soon as you start up the application Cosmic Store, you get to see which applications you currently have installed. You can see all the system applications that are un installed on the system currently, and we can actually interact with these apps, including update and uninstall them directly here, which is nice. I like this setup. Nothing goofy, no headers or ads been being given to you or suggestions even for what to reach out. Mine loaded into the installed apps. I'm not sure if that's what they're going to have whenever it gets finally released, but we can open things up from here as well. So we can check out different applications like the calendar, which is currently the GNOME calendar. But anyways, many, many apps here that you can check out, but let's check out some of the other subcategories. Like I said, you can expand, or like I said, you can collapse or expand the menu on the left-hand side. You can also add the magnifying glass so you can search for certain things. For example, let's say I wanted to search for a new calendar app. I could do that. And you see here the wonderful way that they made these little headlines that kind of give you an idea of what apps are available and from what kind of repositories or packages that they're available in. So for example, these are flat packs right here, this Cal calendar, Gashamar, H date is in the Ubuntu Jammy universe repository. We got another flat pack, so on and so forth. So you can easily tell where these packages are coming from. Maybe you don't like using flat packs. Well, now you can easily choose a source package instead. Definitely enjoying this look and feel here and the minimalist approach to seeing apps. So let's go to some of the other stuff like create. This is actually a category. Create searches the graphics subcategory. Not exactly sure why, but I assume this would be for anything creative. You can get to things like the GIMP tool, Krita, Blender, and so on and so forth. Many, many tools under what they call the create category. Work, which I would assume, let's see, says office here. So the results, are, I assume, have to do something with office instead of work. Not sure if they even have to display this. Not a big deal. But again, we see a, a very similar design where it tells you what type of packages these are that you're about to install, a brief synopsis, and the name. Let's keep going. Let's check out something like Thunderbird real quick so we can tell what it looks like when you go to install a package. So we have the name prominently displayed of the current package that we're about to install up top in the header. And then we have a small description. We have our install button with the icon to the left hand side of that. A preview, which you can actually select left or right to scroll across multiple different pages. And then below we have a fuller description. So wonderfully laid out in my opinion. I'm not sure what else can show up down here. I can't scroll currently for this particular one, but let's check out Visual Studio Code as well. It doesn't look like I can scroll or actually choose between other places, but that's fine. We'll go back and see what's under the develop category, like what we would expect, various different IDEs, API testing environments, Git tools, and much, much more. Learn, I assume, is for education. Sure enough, up top it says education. I'm not sure if it makes sense, but maybe... It does make sense if we say results in category, we make these the same as what we see on the left-hand side, or we change the name on the left-hand side. Not sure. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Just a inconsistency that I kind of noticed. And I assume many of these are gonna be the same. So game, we have things like RetroArch, front end for emulators, game engines and media players, Duck Station, which is a PlayStation 1 PSX emulator, and many, many other things that have to do with game, including Minecraft, and Super Tux Cart. Relax gives you audio and video. Things like KDen Live, a video editor, Spotify, VLC, media player, so on and so forth. Socializing includes things like browsers and messaging 
platforms, utilities, some of our favorites, including Proton, Wine, Bottles, so on and so forth. And then we already did installed apps and finally updates that are currently available on the system. Overall, love the minimalistic view here. Love how they've created the little tiles available for each individual app that we can look through. We'll come back to this in a few, but let's get on to some of the scheduling, including some bugs left before we can actually get on with the alpha. That's right, the Cosmic Epic One has been updated to include what application bugs are still here, what bugs are on the to-do list, what features need to be implemented for Alpha One, and finally, everything that's completed in Alpha One that's ready to go for us to see here, hopefully within the next month. I'm gonna put a link in the description below so you can check out what's available, what else needs to be progressed before we see that alpha. But now I wanna talk about some exciting experiences. For those of you who like the Ubuntu Unity desktop layout look, you'll rejoice as Cosmic is now easily able to emulate that design. You can see here on the left-hand side, we have our icon set, progress bar up top, and various different windows opened up. And one of the main reasons I want to show this off is because how beautiful the desktop looks with wonderful gaps in between. You can see that there's gapping here and a very colorful experience on this particular desktop being used by Michael. It looks fantastic. And I just want to show the attention to detail here that's being put into Cosmic Desktop, especially when making custom theming for yourself. One other thing here is that Cosmic themes are now being applied to GTK three and four applications. So here's actually a closer look into the Ubuntu Unity desktop layout look that there's even a closer styling as well as icon sets and just overall desktop layout look. You can also now change the icon themes. If you haven't noticed, look over on the left-hand side where you see the file manager, the icon themes have changed because the icon set is changed. It's pretty cool and I'm definitely excited to use and design this desktop the way that I want. There's a lot more to come and preview. Make sure to smash that like button for me as we continue on looking through new Rust Cosmic desktop updates and features. Last time I talked about some of the community developed projects or applets, and now there's a collection of them. They're starting to be added in. We have things like applications, applets, and so on and so forth. The first one was Cosmic Tasks. Cosmic Tasks is a simple task management application for the Cosmic desktop. And then we have the fan control applet, which helps you control your fans' different behaviors. A ton of options on this one. Definitely excited to see that for things like my laptop. Anyways, applets, we have Cosmic Applets Apps Menu, category-based menu for apps. We have Cosmic Applet Places Status Indicator, menu for quickly navigating places in the system, and Cosmic Clipboard Manager, Clipboard Manager for Cosmic. You can also now add your project to this collection for Cosmic and brand new news for the Cosmic Tasks. It's received its own beautiful website. Go Supernova, unleash your interstellar potential, a simple task management app reaching across the cosmos to help you get things done. Wonderful look. We'll take a moment to build and use this project as well on Cosmic, but you'll have to wait to check that out. But that website is correct as Cosmic Tasks is actually spreading across operating systems already. Look at this on Mac OS. It's already been ported over and can be used on Mac OS. It'd be really cool if this could sync across operating systems. Rust definitely helps in this being able to easily recompile over on Mac OS and clearly allows you to use that cross compilation to get things moved over quickly. Let's now go through some quality of life improvements, including a feature to drag regions for maximizing and half tiling. As we can see in this video, you can now move things around and fully maximize, go to the right and snap, go to the bottom, snap, and so on and so forth. I kind of show this off already, but it's definitely a great quality of life improvement. Love that addition to Cosmic. I talked about that a few videos ago and they were already on top of it. Another quality of life is OSD indicators, aka this adds indicators for volume, mute, display brightness, keyboard brightness, and airplane mode. All OSD stands for is on-screen display but they are giving us visual feedback and adjustments for these various different modes. Again, all quality of life improvements. Love to see it. Let's keep moving on. Add support for profiling using Tracy. Another feature and improvement, workspace switching, touchpad gestures. Yes, that's right. For all of you laptop users, they're improving workspace switching with the touchpad. 
This pull request implements the next workspace and previous workspace touchpad gestures. In a project currently outside of Cosmic, but there's hope that it's being brought into Cosmic as an applet is an emoji picker, which is a very work in progress, but it's written on top of the ISRS framework or library that's the team at System76 uses. So Benjamin, if you're listening, people are excited to get it on Cosmic. Now, when it comes to performance and quality improvements, such as this improvement here, adding support for profiling using Tracy, this is a profiling utility that integrates with the Cosmic compositor so we can get better quality profiling data from the compositor. This is a way to show how efforts are being made to optimize the compositor and can help track down performance issues while working on areas of the compositor. Just to show you that the team is not only focused on bringing us a wonderful looking desktop, but a performant desktop, which is very important and a lot of communities miss out on. And now I want to get to something exciting. This may not look like much, but the plan is to have all alpha feature work finalized by the end of the second week of April and then focus time on fixing issues or bugs with whatever already exists and is ready for alpha. But this right here is a preview of the 24.04 packaged image that will be released with the alpha version of Rust Cosmic Desktop. So it's quite awesome to see a glimpse of what the team in the background is working on. It's a little sneak preview for us. Special thanks to Jeremy and Michael for this one. Again, this is a 24.04 image with Cosmic. Okay, back to the source. What I haven't really seen quite yet is right-clicking in some of the applications. Now we have a way to make some edits to at least the terminal here. We have a show header settings feature, as well as if we right-click, we can toggle maximize mode, split it into vertical mode, which is quite fantastic, split it in a horizontal, giving us even more real estate all in the same terminal. We can select all, paste, and copy. You can also create new tabs in any of the current focused terminal windows, easily exit out of everything as well, and get back to one window with one terminal view. And now let's take a second to try and use Cosmic Tasks by building it from source since it isn't released quite yet as a binary for us. All right, and after spending a bunch of time going through and making some changes to the source code and building and rebuilding, I think I finally have Cosmic Tasks built. There we go, finished, dev, unoptimized, the debug version. Let's see if I can find that target so we can check out Cosmic Tasks as promised. And here we go, it is officially launched. All right, so from what I can tell, it's using SQL Lite in the back end to actually host our files. It's quite a bit laggy. Of course, this is the debug slash unoptimized version. It's still a work in progress, but it does look like we can create a new list. Let's just test something, savvy list. I can feel even the typing is a little slow at the moment. Again, all in current work in progress mode, but I am excited to use an application developed by a community member. Shout out Eduardo Flores. Let's add some tasks here. We'll just say create video, edit video, and publish video. It's amazing that we already have community members contributing and building applets and extensions for the Cosmic Desktop, which hasn't even hit the alpha mode, but you can see right here, this Cosmic Tasks app being used, and we can check things off, go in further to find details, select dates, priorities, everything that you'd want in your favorite type of tasks or to-do list app. One thing I will mention is it would be nice to be able to drag and drop these uh, up and down. So if I wanted to move something around, that'd be kind of cool. Just a suggestion, but as promised, I brought you the app. Can you try it out for yourself? Well, it's a little hard to compile at the moment, especially with some bugs currently in the source build. I got past them, but it's not the easiest thing. I'm just gonna create one more list just to kind of see what two lists look like and how we can select between them. Fantastic. They all show up on the left-hand side and they are very much following the theming for the Cosmic Desktop, which I enjoy. Looks like we can delete things, add things, and have as much fun as we want with our to-do lists. Excited to see many, many more different types of applications coming to the Cosmic Desktop and ending on one of the most beautiful desktops I've seen of the Cosmic Rust build from Michael. Shout out. Thanks for sharing the desktop and information. What are you excited to see in the Rust Cosmic Desktop? Let me know in the comment section below. Catch me in a great community on Discord. 
and I'll catch you in another update. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.